Hello and welcome back to the channel friends. So today I am going to give you dictation for transcription number 21. The speed of the dictation will be 80 words per minute. The dictation will start in 10 seconds. So be ready for it. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, start. Now coming back to the question of minorities. You will please find why this particular resolution has been so widely put in that it might include a religious minority as well a linguistic minority as well or an economic minority as some honorable members rightly pointed out. Now, sir, a question arises whether there ought to be any such protection insofar as a particular type of minority is concerned. I shall deal with the question of minorities at some length. But you will please find, sir, what the honorable mover wants is that there ought to be a permanent minorities commission. It ought to be endowed with statutory powers. Therefore, sir, an attempt is being made for the first time by my honorable friend for driving a wedge between a community and a community. So far as the constitution is concerned, as my honorable friend rightly pointed out, whenever the question of minorities arises, we have to be extremely careful. The constitution is a very sacred document which has embodied all the different aspects of the common question of India's nationality. India is one in spite of different types of languages and religions. But in the midst of all these diversities, we have to develop a common nationality. Therefore, whenever we consider the question of the development of the nation and the interest of the nation, you cannot afford to think in terms either of religion or of language. It is true, sir, that there are different religions. It is also true that there are different languages. Therefore, a question arose and the framers of the constitution had to devise a constitution in the midst of the unity of India with certain diversities here and there. For that purpose, what they did was they devised a common nationality for the whole of India and insofar as religious minorities were concerned, they were given certain rights. I would not go into the details regarding the provision of the fundamental rights regarding the practice of religion. Certain rights have been given to the religious minorities and beyond that it would not be proper to bring in the religious minorities for political rights. For that we have to be 
extremely careful. I would also point out that while we have to develop a common nationality, the members of the Indian nation have to understand that we are one nation. Therefore, certain rights in respect of religious minorities were given. They were fundamental rights and most of them are justiciable rights. Here we stopped so far as the religious rights were concerned. Then a question arose, what ought to be the attitude of not only the government but the society regarding the languages? It was true that there were certain interests of the regional languages. Now, these languages required to be developed but they were not meant for dividing one man from the other. So, in 1956, when the states were formed to a certain extent on the basis of language, what was done was not to have a state with cent percent people belonging to the regional language because there were bound to be people belonging to different languages. That was the reason why this question was considered at great length and the States Reorganization Commission also went into this question of linguistic minorities. It was bound to arise here and there because they were likely to feel that their rights and safeguards given to them might or might not be properly implemented. So this question was considered first by the States Reorganization Commission and they dealt with the question whether we should have a permanent minorities commission. They went into it very carefully and shrewdly. They found out that it would not be proper to set up a permanent minorities commission because the result, if not the actual effect, would be that a permanent wedge would be driven between one community and another community. So far as language minorities were concerned, they had a right so far as their own languages were concerned. They had also an obligation to understand the language of the majority in the particular state. It is only by thus coming together that the members of the two language groups would come together and would harmoniously develop but it was found at the time when the state's reorganization commission had to consider this that some machinery should be devised for safeguarding the rights of linguistic minorities only and after full consideration what was conceded was that only in respect of linguistic minorities certain rights should be extended 
and certain rights should be safeguarded and an officer should be appointed by the president for making a report on the question whether these rights of the linguistic minorities are or are not properly safeguarded सो फ्रेंड्स यहाँ पर डिक्टेशन खत्म होती है आप लोग आई होप कि आप लोगों ने डिक्टेशन अच्छे से लिखा होगा डिक्टेशन काफी अच्छी थी इसमें कुछ वर्ड्स हैं जिनको आपको जरूर अपने नोटबुक में नोट करना है और इसको बार बार प्रैक्टिस करना है वर्ड्स लाइक माइनॉरिटीज लिंग्विस्टिक एंडोल्ड स्टेटरी वेज एम्बॉडीड डाइवर्सिटीज दीज वर्ड्स विल रिपीट इन द एक्चुअल डिक्टेशन ऑफ एस एस सी इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एस एस ये काफी अच्छा मैटर है ऐसे ही मैटर्स एस में आते हैं सो यू शुड कीप प्रैक्टिसिंग मैटर्स लाइक दीज थैंक यू फॉर लिसनिंग सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट ट्रांसक्रिप्शन